we did a, a study last year. It was, you know, you guys mentioned, especially you, Jason, mentioned we're focusing on sales. That's my background. I'm sorry. I spent, you know, 12 years in retail on the sales side of the house. And so we think we're all, it's the, it's the sexy side of the house, right? That's where, where all this, the cool new features happen, you know, and, but, but so I'm going to talk about a sales thing. So, you know, we did this, we did this digital retailing research project where we asked dealers who say they bought their car online. Um, and this was pre, obviously pre COVID last year at DSES. And, and the, the amount of not necessarily a data set model, but more contextual information that we got when we did the qualitative research was around, first of all, they said they bought their car online. The majority of them just did a couple steps, right? Which I think is pretty common. But the other thing is we would ask them, how, co how come you didn't uh, uh, buy your, your accessories online? Well, I didn't know I could. Or how, you know, how come you didn't get your paperwork done online? Well, I, I didn't know that was possible. And there was this big thread, coming, I'm coming back to this, right? But there's this thread around the opportunity for content marketing not as necessarily an SEO indexing tool, you know, having a blog on your website that does that, but more to, to educate consumers on what you offer. They don't get it. We, 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 we live in it. We get it, right? But, but consumers maybe don't understand what they can and cannot do. And so as you take a look at this, taking the vendor rate or the reviews, excuse me, and kind of putting them in with some of this social content that you're creating for the store, I mean, what what what's working the best, or, or what do you find successful dealers are doing to educate the market um, using social? So many things we could say on this. I think you know, the the biggest thing I would say on social for dealers outside of, of paid advertising, which is not you know, an area we play in significantly, um, is remembering who your audiences are. Right? You know it. We all love the idea of having thousands and thousands of followers, and um, but it's only relevant followers that matter. And what do your relevant followers want to hear about, right? And so um, we find that you know the content that by far performs the best is local and personal and organic. But unfortunately, most of what we see dealers post is generic, you know, OEM content, right? So if I'm a big fan of Ford, you know, I I do want to see those snazzy high gloss professional images of you know the new f-150 you know pulling some giant load right but i'll follow ford's corporate social accounts to see that and i'll follow enthusiast accounts to see that i don't know that i care to follow my local ford dealership to see that right the people who follow the local ford dealership what we see from the data they want to see comments about your staff who was employee of the month how long has mary worked there they want to see comments about actual customers who bought a car because guess what in a small local community you might know that person or they might get tagged right i mean if you can get a consumer who just purchased to tag themselves in a photo you post that's worth way more than you know dozens of of high gloss professional shot images and so you know i mean we we would really discourage dealerships from you know, paying a lot of money to have professional photographers come to your dealership and do product shoots and, and then post that on social. I mean, it's great for your website. I'm not saying there's not a place for that, but you can get it other places. And, you know, that's not what people want to see on, on Facebook and Instagram, right? You know, what, what was the 5K charity race you co-sponsored? And, you know, here's the local soccer team that just, you know, won this award and, and you know, one of your employees' brothers plays on it, at, you know, right? Like actual content that you would want to see from a dealership in your newsfeed. I'm gonna say I'll take that even one step further. Um, people want to feel some type of connection, and quality isn't. I mean, obviously, if the if the if the image quality is so bad that you know that it's a no go, right? It doesn't fly. But people would rather have you know that feeling of familiarity than than quality when it comes to content i mean even if it was an image of a stock f you know ford f-150 you get better reaction if it was taken on someone's iphone versus you know on the lot right where it shows the local the local sign it has a much better feel and that accomplishes far more than you know like 
Steve said, a higher quality professional photograph. Consumers are smart. They, I don't, if you're telling me you have a you know, 2021 Toyota Tacoma off-road, you know, TRD off-road, I know exactly what that truck looks like. I know exactly what that truck comes with. I can find all that information in myriad locations, you know, mainly the OEM's website. And there's no local dealer that can do a better job of that. So what can a local dealer do better than the OEM? And, and it's, you know, to Steve's point, all of the, the local elements, you know, including that same truck, but sitting in my showroom, that same truck sitting on my lot with my salesperson. You know, we see it, this, we see this happen a ton going back to, uh, you know, specific people in the dealerships and why that's a really powerful piece of content. We see this all the time where people will, you know, again, they're trying to validate their decision to go visit your dealership, Bart. And if they know that they're going to meet you, sorry, if they feel like they already know you, even if it's just through an image, right? And, a, you know, a caption at the bottom or through a video. We also have video tools that help, you know, turn those leads into in-store visits and, you know, nowadays, um, you know, so online interactions and, and sometimes digital retailing opportunities. You you just want to feel like, oh, I just want to feel like I know you a little bit, right? Um Gosh, we see we have we have really cool stories of people driving cross state, you know, to go visit that dealership versus this dealership for a stock vehicle. It's not even a used vehicle, right? Again, we know if it's a stock vehicle, we know exactly what that car is. So why would I go visit that dealership versus that dealership? It's that it's that you know, feeling of familiarity and you know trust, I suppose. Which not not to get you know too philosophical, but it's not even it's more perceptual than real, right? I don't actually know you. Um, because I saw your name below a picture of a truck, uh, but I, I want to, like, I want to feel like I'm going to have a better experience going to your dealership because I have something, you know, something more valuable and more local and more, more organic than, you know, what the OEM can offer.